Police say the gunman had a long rap sheet and there are growing questions about why he wasn't in jail. WFAA senior crime and justice reporter Rebecca Lopez has been breaking developments all weekend and joins us with an update from the newsroom as to what happened on Saturday. Rebecca. Well, Nesta Hernandez is a violent felon who police say should have been in prison or jail. He has robbed, burglarized, and assaulted victims since he was a juvenile, but continuously received light sentences. He was paroled early and violated his parole and arrested. We obtained video of one of those arrests. Now, this is video from Carrollton Police obtained by WFAA. It shows police arresting Hernandez in June because there was a warrant out for him. That was issued by the parole board for a parole violation violation out of Dallas. When he was arrested, you see him, as you just saw, slam his head into the police squad car. Police say he is a documented gang member who has been in and out of prison since he was a juvenile. Now, he was arrested for aggravated robbery in 2011 and 2015, and both times he plea bargained and got a lesser sentence. But he had at least four felony convictions, and so on his latest conviction in 2015, he should have gotten an enhanced sentence because he is a habitual criminal. He should have received a minimum of 25 years, but prosecutors waived the enhancement and he got only eight years. That was under District Attorney Susan Hawk. Now at the news conference, Chief Eddie Garcia says he is frustrated with violent criminals being released early or getting light sentences. He says Hernandez, while wearing an ankle monitor, went to Methodist and beat up his girlfriend who had just had his baby when hospital staff tried to intervene. A caseworker and a nurse were killed. A Methodist officer shot Hernandez in the leg and he has uh, he was rather taken into custody. According to the parole board, he was given permission to be at the hospital, but hospital staff were informed. The police department had no forewarning uh, that this person was being monitored by ankle monitor. Um, uh, anything about his criminal history, that's not something that we normally inquire about for a parent in our uh, NICU or uh, mother baby units. It's not something that normally comes to mind. At the request of Methodist Police, uh, the Dallas Police Department is now taking over both the double homicide investigation and the officer involved shooting investigation. If Hernandez is convicted, he faces the death penalty. It's unclear if the district attorney will seek the death penalty because he has been reluctant to do that in other high profile cases, Izzy. All right, Rebecca, before you go with the news conference today, Chief Garcia, he, he was very vocal about Hernandez being out on an ankle monitor saying what happened was a failure of the system. System. What does the chief want changed? Well, he doesn't want habitual violent criminals out on ankle monitors because he says they don't work. Uh, they really don't stop them from either fleeing or committing crimes. In fact, recently I did a series of stories on ankle monitors in Dallas County. As there are as many as 800 people on monitors with only 11 people monitoring. It turns out there have been several suspects who have actually committed other crimes while wearing monitors or cut them off and fled. Garcia says they just don't really work.